What is your core? Basically, it's not just your abdominal muscles, it's an entire system of muscles. It's a pressure system made up of your diaphragm at the top, sitting here at the bottom of your rib cage, your pelvic floor at the bottom, sitting in the bottom of your pelvis, and the abdominal muscles that wrap all the way around your center like a corset. These muscles create a pressure system and they get a battering during pregnancy and birth. The abdominal muscles will get stretched out beyond comprehension. Your pelvic floor muscles have to bear the weight of not only all your organs, but the baby and everything that's going on in your belly as well. On top of that, there's more pressure in this system. There's less space because there's more stuff in it. So there's more demand going down towards your pelvic floor. The growing baby interrupts the movement of the diaphragm. And then birth. You're either gonna have vaginal birth and push a human through a pretty small hole in your pelvic floor, or if you're like me, you're gonna have a C-section and you're gonna have the connective tissue in between your abdominal muscles cut open, torn open, and a baby pulled out of it. Which, needless to say, does create a little bit of disturbance in either your pelvic floor or your abdominal muscles. We can't prevent all of that, and don't worry, I'll be there to help you recover postpartum with the complete postpartum program. But there are certain things we can do during pregnancy to ensure that our pelvic floor, our core is balanced, that the core muscles, the abdominal muscles stay as strong as they can so that they don't get stretched out as much as they could get stretched out and then there's less rehabilitation to do afterwards. We can keep our pelvic floor strong and we can prevent putting too much pressure down towards our belly and our pelvic floor. Doing what we can to prevent pelvic organ prolapse, pelvic floor dysfunction, leaking, hemorrhoids, all of that fun stuff. The muscles of your core are involved in breathing, they're involved in alignment, and they're also involved in movement. So moving through your core by doing crunches, twists, stuff like that. In this core basics program, we're gonna cover all of those things. So make sure you do the breathing exercises to both connect your core muscles and to help balance out the system. And then also to ensure that there isn't too much demand on the pelvic floor when you're lifting things or exercising. So through breathing, we wanna reduce intra-abdominal pressure. We're gonna address alignment or posture. And we're gonna look at the different ways that movement can either strengthen or be a bit too much for our abdominal muscles. One final note, don't forget that it's not just about your abdominal muscles or even your pelvic floor. You also have back muscles. You have muscles all down this part of your body and you wanna keep those strong as well. But that's what this program's for, the strength program, the conditioning program. It's all gonna help you keep a strong back and bum as this is the scaffolding that holds you up as that belly gets bigger. This is gonna be really important for feeling strong later in your pregnancy and in the postpartum period.